Windows remains one of the world's most popular operating system, particularly on desktops and other non-mobile environments. This is why security experts at various times loaded the security features that come packed in Windows 10, but that are still not motivated enough users to move from Windows 7 and 8 to 10. The latest version of Windows happens to be quite secured, according to Ian Trump, a security lead at Logic Noun. In his words, clearly, Microsoft thought a lot about the kind of attacks taking place against enterprise customers and is moving security forwards by leaps and bounds. It is a great way to protect against zero-day attacks that make it by anti-malware defenses. Microsoft Security Intelligence report shows that there has been an increase in the use of antivirus software following the introduction of Windows Defender and a further security improvement in Windows 10. The company is thriving to make its security feature Defender more reliable and capable. One of the ways to prove this is by confirming it has a good score during group antivirus test. More so, the company is applying other strategies that will ensure it does not become solely dependent on Defender. For instance, some types of malware can be contained using Windows 10 smart screen. Microsoft has also added features from Emmet, its Enhanced Mitigation Experience Toolkits. Windows 10 now includes Structured Exception Handler Override Protection CHUP, Address Based Layout Randomization, a Standard, Data Execution Prevention DEP, and Enterprise Users also get post-breach feedback from Advanced Threat Protection ATP. Another security feature that Windows 10 included is a cloud-based protection, which uses heuristics, automated data analysis, and machine learning to decide whether or not to block it. Consequently, cloud-based heuristics in Windows 10 has played a significant role in contributing to blocking ransomware attacks that were not detected by traditional virus signatures PDF. Of course, users will be less secure if they change the default in a misguided attempt to protect their privacy. Another factor is that Windows 10's new browser Edge has better security than the old Internet Explorer. Edge doesn't support ActiveX or Java adding, which makes it less vulnerable to many of the attacks that compromise earlier versions of Internet Explorer. The average infection rate for Windows PCs according to Microsoft Malicious Software Removal Tool is currently 1.01%. It's less than 0.4% in the best countries Finland, Japan, Denmark and Norway and Germany. And around 8% in Libya which also scores highest for unprotected PCs. The five worst areas are Libya, Iraq, Mongolia the Palestinian Authority and Morocco. Recently, a group of anonymous hackers known as Shadow Brokers uploaded some tools online which they alleged belong to the National Security Agency in the US. According to them, the tools can be used to compromise Windows computers, services and operating systems which include 7 and 8. Microsoft has since announced that patches have been released and that means everything should be fine for those who carry out required updates. One lesson is clear. We need to always use the latest version of all operating systems, tools and applications.